Have you ever paced around the room or went for a walk because you needed time to think? Yeah, well, what if I told you that there was a study that proved that walking actually does help with your creativity? This is something that I do a lot. Um, I pace around the room or I go for a walk if that's not enough to try to get me out of some kind of creative funk I'm in. If I'm just like, ah, writer's block, creator's block kind of thing and nothing's coming to me, almost every single time when I'm just constantly pacing, I will come up with something. It makes me look a bit insane and whenever I have the windows open and I'm constantly walking back and forth in front of the windows, my neighbors think maybe I'm kind of possessed by a demon or something, <laughs> but uh, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> That's neither here nor there. Uh, but I, I was curious if maybe there was some kind of physiological reasoning of why you know, I'm walking back and forth to try to kickstart my brain creatively. And maybe, you know, unless, of course, <laughs> I'm the only one that actually experiences this. So I asked a couple people and it turns out the majority of them actually do some form of walking or, or pacing, or if they don't do it on a regular basis like I do, which is constantly, <laughs> uh, they, they, every once in a while they'll notice whenever it's like, oh yeah, whenever I go for a walk, I, I come up with some great ideas. It's kind of like, you know, your best ideas come out of the shower. It's whenever you're moving and doing things. So I was wondering, I'm like, there's got to be some kind of like science behind this or something. So as it turns out, there's a study in Stanford, study that Stanford has done. They took 176 college students and put them through uh, four different experiments. They split them into four different groups. Um, in those groups, two of which were indoors and the other two were outdoors. The two that were indoors were split up into ones who were walking on a treadmill while staring at a blank wall inside and another group that was just sitting and staring at a blank wall, not moving at all. The outdoor group was um, a group that was walking outdoors and another one that was being pushed in a wheelchair outdoors. So they were still sitting, but they got to experience outside. <laughs> Now, I'll put the link in the description to the actual study so you can see for yourself the, and the numbers and everything that they did and the different experiments and all that stuff. But I wanted to point out a key, uh, a few key uh, well, points from the study. Uh, they found that, amongst other things, that the uh, people who were walking were overwhelmingly more creative in the tests that they gave them like five to 15 minutes after that they completed their exercise, um, which was either walking or sitting, than those that were actually just sitting. That includes the wheelchair one, even though that they were outside and technically moving, they weren't physically moving. So it seems that the key here isn't just movement, it's you actively moving. So being pushed in a wheelchair wasn't as um, creatively fulfilling. <laughs> if that's the term that I'm going to use, as actually physically walking. And it didn't matter if you were walking indoors or outdoors. Even though you're just staring at a blank wall, you might not think that's very creative at all. <laughs> but some, for some reason, that actually helps. The, the test group that was walking on a treadmill indoors was 60% more creative in their multitude of <laughs> different things that defines creativity. Uh, than the people who were just sitting indoors. They also found, and this one's an even bigger difference between walking and sitting, that the people who walked outdoors were twice as creative as those who were just sitting indoors when it came to, and I want to read this again because I don't remember the actual word thing. Oh, coming up with the most creative analogy. Um, you can go actually see the study to learn all the details about that. One thing to note though is that although the study found that walking greatly benefited your ability to creatively brainstorm, it didn't have any effect whatsoever on your ability to hone in on a single task. So if you needed to actually accomplish one thing or if you're trying to find a solution to one specific thing, going for a walk didn't seem like it 
made any difference to whether or not you would actually figure out the solution there. But if you were a blank slate and you're just completely stuck and you're like, I don't even know where to begin, going for a walk actually seems like it really helps. <laughs> so this is really fascinating to me because it's something that I already do in my normal lifetime. One, it proves I'm not crazy. <laughs> like the whole talking to yourself thing, which is another study entirely, but I'll leave that for another video. Uh, plus, you know, it, one, it's healthy, you know, going for a walk, that's great. Um, two, you can even do things like, you know, mow the lawn for, hey, that's walking. It also boosts creativity. How about that? At least your ability to brainstorm, not necessarily the single task thing. But, you know, you can get some exercise, you can do get some work done in the form of chores and things like that, and you can become more creative for it. And this is also something that people found, like, uh, there are a lot of CEOs that will go for walking meetings and they're becoming more and more popular. And as it turns out, that walking meeting might actually be more beneficial to coming up with something more creative kind of ideas than just sitting down in an office and be like, all right, what do we do? I'm like, <laughs> go for a walk. That's what you do. That's the answer. The answer to life is going for a walk. That's not true. But anyway, I just wanted to share uh, this study with everyone and also, you know, hey, go for a walk. Maybe it'll help you be more creative. Or not, you know, you just sit and stare at a blank wall. That seems like it helps a lot. Anyway, uh, thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you liked it. And if you did like it, go ahead and hit the like button and uh, leave a comment below if you also pace around the room like a possessed demon or something like that. You know, maybe make me feel like I'm not crazy. <laughs> um, or if there's anything else that you do to try and get yourself out of creative rut that you're stuck in and you know, let me know because I'd like to know personally and I'm sure there are tons of other people out there who would really love to know how to get out of some kind of creative block that they're stuck in. Um, you know, also I'm on all of the, you know, normal social media outlet places like Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and all that jazz. So there's that. Also subscribe. That would be awesome. <laughs> I make um, videos dealing with photography and other creative things. I also have a video on Artist Block that you can check out here if you like. Also, you know, just photography, tutorials, and reviews, and things like that. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.